Thanks for tuning in to Biohackly. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my Longevity Resources ozone generator for ear insufflation. Alright, let's get started. This video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be medical advice. Please seek advice from your medical doctor before you try anything like this at home. Let me show you some of the equipment that we're going to use for our ear insufflation today. This uh, unit here that kind of looks like uh, something that a doctor might wear, a stethoscope, is actually made for ozone insufflation specifically, and this is all ozone resistant material here. And of course, that just pops in the ears, which I will show you in a few minutes. And whenever you're doing this, you want to actually have a fan in front of you blowing the air past you because if there is a little bit of ozone that leaks out of here, you don't want to breathe it in. It's kind of irritating to the lungs. So if you're sitting with these, wearing these, and you have a fan blowing, then it's going to blow any of that excess ozone away from you. I've mentioned in some of my other videos, uh, when you're doing insufflation, it's important to have uh, moisture on the area. And in this case, I'm using a water bubbler to do that. So this is a trap or a glass check valve which prevents the water from going backwards. So how that would work is the oxygen would come through this tank into the ozone generator. The ozone would come from here into the trap, go from the trap into the water bubbler. The water bubbler, the top here has a glass rod that goes down, which is going to bubble the ozone through the water and humidify the ozone, and then come out here through this long hose into the ear insufflation device, humidified ozone. So it just works better, it absorbs better. Now the reason that we have the trap or the glass check valve is if you had any kind of back pressure, you know, as an example, if I put my fingers over the end here and it, it wasn't going to allow any ozone to get out, it would actually turn around and go backwards. And going backwards, it would go in here and it might push some of the moisture through back into the machine. And the last thing you want is to have any type of back pressure or especially um, humidity or moisture in your machine. So that's where the trap or the glass check valve comes in. It won't let any moisture go back in there. It'll actually drip down to the bottom. This is just an empty glass tube. So it'll prevent anything from going back into your machine. So let's get started with our oxygen tank on the left-hand side here. This is from Longevity Resources. It's an industrial oxygen tank. I'm running food-grade oxygen in it right now. They have this tank available in multiple sizes. This is the gold standard of oxygen regulators, this gold regulator on here, also from Longevity Resources. Longevity makes the best regulators that you can get. They're very, very high-end, high quality, will last a long, long time, longer than probably any other uh, regulator that you'd find out there. And because they're very high-end, you're going to get an accurate reading. This is one of the things I always say to people is make sure you get yourself a better oxygen regulator because if you've got a cheap oxygen regulator, this is only in the $200 range. If you've got one in the $100 range or $150 or $50 range, you've got something that's probably going to give you an inaccurate reading and might even leak at some point. It's not worth it. Whatever you do, get a better oxygen regulator. I'll put the model number for this on the screen. It doesn't matter what oxygen tank you have, um, industrial oxygen tank, this will work on it. Another oxygen regulator from Longevity right here, another one that's very, very well built, um, high quality. It's worth it to get a better oxygen regulator, I always say it. Longevity also has medical grade tanks and medical grade oxygen regulators for medical applications. On the right hand side here I have my Longevity Resources ozone generator. This is the EXT120T Ultra. This is their newest ozone generator, all developed on NEOS technology. It's all digital. You can see on the right-hand side I have my ozone concentration, which is set at 3 right now. You can see there's three LEDs lit up. On the left side, you can see I have a digital timer that works in seconds, minutes, or infinity. Right now I have it set at 2 minutes. The reason for that is because Dr. Frank Schellenberger's protocol for ear insufflation is generally done at 25 to 35 gamma for 2 to 3 minutes. So I have it set at 2 minutes right now. And if I looked at my chart here, um, so I've got this set at my ozone concentration set at 3. So if I look at the chart on 3, and I've, if I set my oxygen regulator at 1 16th, I'm going to get 28.9 gamma. And as I was saying, Dr. Schellenberger suggests 25 to 35, so that's kind of right in the middle of that for 2 to 3 minutes. Now, depending on what ozone generator you have, an oxygen tank, your flow might be a little bit different, but you still want to get between 25 and 35 gamma for 2 to 3 minutes, according to Dr. Schellenberger's protocol. And by the way, if you want to learn more about these protocols, Dr. Schellenberger has a fantastic new book called The Ozone Miracle, available on Amazon.com, and I'll put a link down below in the description. 
it covers pretty well every protocol that you would want to learn. So it does cover ear insufflation. It covers rectal insufflation. It covers making water. Uh, it, it covers everything, and it really answers all the questions that I think you might have as well on ozone therapies and ozone protocols. So that's called the Ozone Miracle. Uh, it's available from Amazon.com. Dr. Schellenberger also has another book called Principles and Applications of Ozone Therapy, A Practical Guide for Physicians. If you are a physician somewhere in the world and you're looking uh, to get into the ozone therapy, this is a fantastic book. It's made for physicians. It's a lot more technical, and a layman would have a hard time understanding it, but again, fantastic book. His new book is Made for the Layman Ozone Miracle. So again, let's get back to our longevity resources ozone generator here. Now the chart that I was just showing you where I determined uh, the settings for my gamma, that's also available on the top of the machine here. So you can get, um, you don't have to worry about losing this, you're always going to have those settings. Now the reason that I ended up with this machine is because I, lo I watched a lot of videos on YouTube from Dr. Robert Rowan. Dr. Gary Gordon and Dr. Frank Schellenberger, and they all talked about longevity resources. When Dr. Robert Rowan went over to um, help with the Ebola crisis in Sierra Leone, Longevity donated around $40,000 worth of machines to the hospital there. Very, very kind-hearted people, great people. I went to their website, I started doing some homework on them. Their client list is crazy, I'm gonna put a list up here, a graphic up, like everybody from NASA to Boeing to Caltech, to Brookhaven National Laboratories, to Carl Zeiss Lens, to, man, it's just incredible. And they've been around for 20 years. Like, these are really great people. This machine is made in North America. You're gonna have a hard time finding an ozone generator made in North America. Most of them are made in China. And if you get one made in China, or Germany, but the ones from Germany are extremely expensive. But if you get one made in China, chances are you're gonna have inferior parts on the inside. The last thing you want is inferior parts because over time, the ozone's gonna break them down and you're gonna end up with toxins in your ozone. Get a machine made in North America. I always, you know, I love this longevity machine and I, and I love these guys, they're the greatest to deal with. I can only recommend longevity. You just can't go wrong, they're just, and, and by the way, there's a bunch of different models. So this is kind of in the middle range. There's two above this and there's about two or three that are um, more inexpensive than this. So this is kind of in the medium range. It's not that expensive, it's worth it. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you how to connect all of this stuff up right now. I'm going to take the clear line out from the oxygen regulator. And I'll connect that to the clear line in on the ozone generator. And that's a quick connect, so it just slips together, fits really nicely. Here's the ozone output from the ozone generator. It's a silicone line. We're going to run that into the top of the trap. And that'll only go one way because this is a male and that's a female on the top. Now we're going to take the bottom one and we're going to run this from the bottom of the trap to the top of the water bubbler. And we'll take this long hose that I have here and we'll run the bottom of the water bubbler and we're going to connect this to the end of the unit for doing the ear insufflation so it's all connected up. And now I'm going to show you how I would um, put this on sitting in front of a fan. It's important to have a fan because, as I mentioned, you want to make sure you got the flow going so that you don't breathe in any of that ozone. It's a little bit of, a little bit irritating. And once I have that all connected up and I'm wearing the unit and I'm ready to go, the first thing I would do is I would open my oxygen tank. The next thing I would do is I'd hit that start button, and then I'd quickly set this to one sixteenth, which is going to give me that uh, that gamma of twenty eight point nine. And I would just let the machine run. You would see ozone bubbling through the unit here so if it was running you'd actually see some bubbles going through there and I would wait until this gets to zero and as I mentioned before it's automatically going to shut off as soon as it automatically shuts off I'm going to go and change my my oxygen regulator back to zero I'm going to close the valve on my oxygen tank and the only thing left to do would be to turn the power off in the machine now there's also a protocol to disconnect everything properly so the first thing you want to do is disconnect the bubbler from the trap, then disconnect the bubbler from the line, in this case, that we have going to the ear insufflation device, and finally disconnect the trap from the ozone generator and disconnect the oxygen line from the ozone generator. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to put a link to Dr. Frank Schellenberger's book, The Ozone Miracle, down below in the description. 
I'll also put a link to Longevity Resources website, ozonegenerator.com, and I'll put their phone number, and I'll put a list of all the products that I showed in the video so that if you want to get any of these from Longevity, it makes it easier for you to identify. Once again, thanks for watching.